Hello my friends, today we are doing a comparison of the raw images from iPhone 13 Pro and 14 Pro. I have three images over here. The first one, it's a raw image, as you can see it's a DNG from my iPhone 13 Pro and this is 12 megapixel file. Now the next image, it's a DNG, which is my raw image from iPhone 14 Pro and this is the 48 megapixel image. And then I do have another one, which is from the same phone, the iPhone 14 Pro, but this one, it's the 12 megapixel image. If you did not know, you can change the settings into your settings, into your camera. You can change it so your raw image will have 48 megapixels or 12 megapixel. And this is helpful if you do not have a lot of storage, a lot of space on your iPhone. But do you want to do that or are you going to lose significant quality? This is what we are going to check out today. So let's compare the two um, ProRes like raw images from the 14 Pro. So the first one here is the 48 megapixel one. And I did have to do a little bit of editing on this image because when you import these raw images from 14 Pro, the only the 48 megapixels one, not the 12 megapixels. They're coming in kind of really dark like this. Even though I didn't change any settings, I just took the image the same as I took the other ones without changing anything. As you can see, it's all crooked. This is just in my backyard. This is my uh, studio over here in the barn. And this is just test images, nothing fancy. So first of all, let's compare the iPhone 14 two raw images, one the 48 megapixels and one the 12 megapixels. So I'll select these two images and let's go into comparison mode. I am going to zoom in quite a lot. Let me zoom this one the same amount. So this is same phone, 48 versus 12 megapixels. And you can see over here, this is the 48 megapixels because the file size is 8064 by 648, where this one is 432 by 324. So right out of bat, you can tell that the 48 megapixels give us a lot cleaner image. Look how nice the wood looks on the barn door versus here, it's kind of blurry and blotchy and you get a lot of artifacts. If you look at the walls of the barn, the same thing. This one is very clean. You know what? Let's zoom even more. We are already like very, very zoomed in, but we'll zoom in more. So you can see the 48 megapixels does make a huge, huge difference. So much cleaner, so much more details. Let's see this light over here. It's on the this side of the window. And Look how much cleaner is this versus this. This one's a little bit too zoomed in. Let me make it so it's the same. And as you can see, big difference. I think if you shoot on raw, definitely shoot on 48 because it will give you a way cleaner image. Now that we saw this, let's compare with the iPhone 13. So I don't think it makes any sense to compare the 48 megapixels with the 12 megapixels from iPhone 13 Pro because it's going to be kind of similar to this one. Now let's compare the DNGs from 13 Pro to 14 Pro, but 14 Pro with the 12 megapixels. That way it will be the same amount of megapixels as the 13 Pro. Will that be different? Is it worth upgrading these phones if you're just planning on shooting on 12 megapixels? because you don't have the storage, for example. And let's see here. The one on the left is the 13 Pro. The one on the right is the 14 Pro. And honestly, they look the same. Where is that light? Oops. All right, maybe the 14 Pro, it's a tiny little bit chroma less chromatic aberration, but maybe a tiny, tiny little bit more sharpness, but really nothing that you know, is noticeable. And this is at 800%, so you will not see any difference, I believe. Maybe a little bit cleaner, but again, if we're looking at 100%, 
Honestly, they look the same. Absolutely the same. So if you're thinking about your upgrading your iPhone just to get the more megapixels, it's only worth it, in my opinion, if you're really willing to shoot on raw 48 megapixels and then you have to edit your own file and you will get a lot, a lot better quality, quite a lot better quality. But it's also bigger files and a little bit more work because you have to edit them. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.